course I want to see her. Becky, how could I not? That little devil brings mischief wherever she goes. She killed her husband. <sighs> he died of tropical fever. You can hardly lay that at her door. Can't I? They took her son from her. Rubbish! Rawdon took the boy away because cats are better mothers. And what do you know of motherhood? You have no child. Don't I know it? And if I have any authority in this house... Authority? You have none, sir. Who do you think you are? My father? My husband? You're right. I know what your heart is capable of. It can cling faithfully to a misty memory and cherish a dream. But it cannot recognize or return a love like mine. I have been your friend. No. You have allowed me to be your friend. We have spent enough of our lives at this play, Amelia. Let this end. We are both weary of it. When his cousin died, I knew Rawdy would spend his life at Queen's Crawley. He belongs there. But you must see him. Why don't you? Does Lady Jane prevent it? No. Jane would not keep me from him. But Rawdy has become a great man. I love him and I wish him well. But my place is no longer with him. Tell me, how is Major Dobbin? I passed him as I came here, looking very fierce. We have fallen out. Over me? Over you, yes, but over other things as well. Amelia Osborne, you're a damn fool. He is your dearest friend. It matters not what he thinks of me. You should go and fetch him. I cannot, Rebecca. You don't know what lies between us. I do. Ever since I saw him by that piano, I've known how it stood between you. That was George. It was Dobbin. I saw him with my own eyes. George loved me. George Osborne loved no one but himself. He'd have jilted you but for Dobbin and left you if he'd lived. Silence. Dobbin was right. Wherever you go, you trail wickedness and heartache in your wake. I came prepared for this. George gave this to me at the Duchess of Richmond's ball. Whatever it is, I will not read it. My darling Becky, won't you save me from a life of dreary toil? Fly with me. We will dance our way across Europe. You're George. That is the man you have made your life a shrine to. <laughs> I've been a fool. We have all been fools. But you may still remedy your folly. Go. Hurry! In the back. <laughs> 